Yo, what's up, guys? It's uh, Maki. Hey, so hey. cold, give me a beanie. So cold, call me Cal Freezy Johnson. You cannot see me. Turn up my hair, it's big. Continue to up like a boss. I like to use it. Ah, come on, Maki. Today I'm joined with a um, popular guest. Young Cody. Young Cody. Young Cody. Today we're doing Euros predictions, guys. Euros is coming up soon. Obviously, we're both supporting England through this. If Brazil was there, I'd probably support Brazil. But, yeah, um, but yeah, so we're going to do Euros predictions and we're just going to go through the groups first and then we're going to go third place ranking. And then, yeah, yeah, let's do it. We're going to see who we think is going to win the European Championships 2024. And it's going to be a collective decision on each thing. So it's basically going to happen, whatever we say. Facts. Let's go straight into it. Group A. I'll edit it here. Germany, Scotland, Hungary. Switzerland. Okay, I think it's fair to say Germany's the strongest team there. Yeah, I think Germany have got to top that group, surely. Yeah, agreed. Next. Scotland or Switzerland? Switzerland, you know, Switzerland are a team where you look at them on the surface, you won't think much of them, but they've got a Kanji, yeah, they've got other players as well. True. Yeah, Switzerland, as far as a team unit, they're a great team. But Scotland should also be making that Hungary. Out of think. Hungary got plus gas. They've got, <laughs> they've got uh, Schlobberschlein. Schlobberschlein. In it, um, the goalkeeper. Oh yeah, 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 goalkeeper. And then Orban as well. I think Hungary have to go at the bottom. Do you think? I think yeah, because I think Scotland and Switzerland. I think it's a fairly stacked group. Scotland and Switzerland are very good teams. Yeah. Um, who do you think? Who do you think makes out of that group? It's got to be. I'm gonna say Germany and Switzerland. What do you think? I'm, I was gonna agree with you, but I thought you would go for Scotland. No, nah, so. I feel like Scotland's best player is Robertson, isn't it? And he's he's like Robertson Tierney. It's the team of left backs. Yeah, literally. And Scott Robertson's probably had the poorest season out of for a while. Yeah, yeah he's form. not been on it this season. Yeah, I agree. So yeah, I, I'm happy with that. Thing is, with these predictions, anything can happen. Yeah, we're absolutely. just doing the best, the best teams. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing. Because for this group, for all we know, based on past years, Switzerland and Scotland can make it out of this group, and Germany can finish Brock bottom. Like that is that is a thing that could that's, happen. That's facts, man. That's facts. But at home, I'm back in the Germans, at least for this group stage. Yeah, and I feel like Germany has one of the better teams out of everyone in the Euros. So. I, I completely agree. Okay, Group B. We've got Spain, Croatia, Italy and Albania. That's a hard group. That's a hard That's group. a very hard group. I think it's Croatia always managed to smuggle their way to the end. I don't even know who, like, who makes it out of that group. I think Spain have got to top that group. Yeah, agreed. Then Italy. Croatia out in the, in the groups. Yeah, I actually agree. But One of them has to go, and it's not going to be Spain or Italy. I mean, I, don't I think know. That there's a very good chance Italy could go. I know, but they've now got Scamac. It's going to be a good group to watch. Who have Albania got? I don't know anyone. Um, Bremer. No, not Bremer. Bremer. Broja. Yeah, Amaha Bro Broja. Yeah. Bro I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Okay, Group C. Slovakia, Denmark, Serbia, England. Easy for easy group. England, England top, Denmark. Denmark. It doesn't matter where the other two come, but I say, assume Ser Serbia. Yeah, I know more Serbians. Easy. We don't, <coughs> don't need to really talk about that one. No, I mean, that it's, one. it's coming home in it. So yeah, I think no. I think we have a chance. England possibly have the best team in this tournament. Yeah, it's either England or France. Yeah, I can't. I can't even say anything. That's just true. Group D. Netherlands, Austria, France, Poland. Oh, this is a good group. This Another good group. great France group. France at top, then Netherlands. That's the thing. Netherlands have a good team. Who do Netherlands Austria have? Austria, then Poland. They have Van Dijk, um, who, um, Memphis Depay. Mm. <laughs> to who are we talking about? Denmark. Netherlands. Oh, yeah. Um, Netherlands. They have um, Ake. They have Ake. They have White Leg Horst. Frimpong. Frimpong. Bro, they're stacked. Netherlands is a great team. I think There's a, a good chance France don't top the team, by the way. That is true. I yeah. think in this group, yeah, I think Netherlands will beat France. But they, it wouldn't shock me. They'll both go up still, though. Yeah, yeah. If France make out of this group, but it wouldn't shock me if they don't top it. Yeah. Belgium. Group E. Belgium, Slovakia. Wait, is it Slovakia? That's what I'm saying. Oh, is, is that Slovenia? Do you reckon that's Slovakia? Yeah, that's got, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this isn't supposed to be a geography test. <laughs> We've got SVK here. Romania. And Ukraine. Ukraine, Belgium, top Belgium's that. got a top they got group. Doku, Appenda, Lukaku. This too, might, too many. This might be biased, I don't know, but I would assume Ukraine have got to come second in that group. Who have they got? Zinchenko. Zinchenko. Um, Isaac. <laughs> that's all the colours I've ever got. Um, I was swinging on this, by the way. Yeah, that's true. Are these literally all the teams now? Yeah. 
and we'll go we'll go Slovakia and Roma. Yeah. Romania. That's an easy group for Belgium. Group F. Turkey, uh, Georgia, Portugal. Czech. Czech Republic. Portugal at the top, do you think? And Turkey. Really? I'll back to I'll back Who to the group. Uh Charles Ongloo in the midfield. They got that uh, old Leicester defender. Oh. Curly yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'd say Czech maybe. What do you think? Yeah, Pet don't play for him anymore. We'll get we'll stick Czech Republic next. I'm fine with that. Turkey. Yeah. That that was that's like a mid that's a that's probably the middest groups of them all. Okay. Third place ranking. We've got to put so Croatia top on the stages. I'm very happy with I the like stages. This is, this is the like most likely outcome as well. Agreed. Okay. I'm thinking Croatia top. Yeah. Scotland. Yeah. Austria's a shout as well. Scotland got McGinn. Yeah. To be fair, yeah, okay. Some good guys. Germany versus Denmark. That's got to be the Germans. But, um, Christian Eriksen. Uh, they're basically yeah. the whole Brentford team. Yeah, yeah. Norgard, right. all, them, all them lot. Yeah. So it's good team, good team. Switzerland, Italy. 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 Spain, Austria. Spain. Espanol. England. Turkey. England always get quite easy games in like. After yeah, it does groups. feel that way. It, I mean, if we don't win that, then... I can imagine that being like a 1 or 2-0, though. Yeah, it'll be Turkey. a tight game. Yeah. Even though we should batter them. Yeah, on paper. Portugal, Scotland... This, that could be a hard one, though. That be like a realistic scalp that could that could happen here. Thing is, I think we're thinking of the Portugal that we've seen before. Now Portugal have like a few different players and that have played like since. I'm trying to think of the names of them though. You have got the the PSG striker. Um, AC Milan, Renato. What's his name? The left wing AC Milan. Oh, Rafael Leal. Yeah, him. Yeah, Rafael Leal. He'll be the new like left wing for them. Yeah, they've got that the the, the striker who played in the World Cup. Gunfingers plays for PSG. Yeah, um, I'm not sure, but I feel like Portugal will are better now than they were anyway. Netherlands, Ukraine, Netherlands, Netherlands. Belgium, okay. Croatia. Finally, a good game. Yeah, finally. A I'm good picking game. Croatia. You know, I think Belgium bottle it early or early doors. Really? As far as a scout, Things, the players they have. Yeah, but they've always had that, and they never yeah, do anything. True, good. that is true. Yeah, I've got to give Gaffin. Croatia do well as well, and yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll back that. That that would be good to watch. I think that's a 50-50, Same with Portugal, Scotland, France have got to be yeah, Czech, France, Czech. Quarter finals. Okay, we've got Germany, Spain, Germany, Spain, Portugal, Netherlands, Croatia versus France, and England versus Italy. Good games. They're good games. But very, the thing is, these are not going to happen. It'll be like no. Slovenia versus. Yeah, literally. <laughs> um, Germany, Spain. The thing is, uh, let's do team for team for team. Yeah, who has a better attack? For Spain, you've got like um, wait a minute, Ferran Torres, Moreno. Yeah, Germany, man. It's got to be Germany. But I think who's, who's bugging I think they season? only really equal maybe in the midfield. Yeah, midfield they bought they body Germany. and the Germany a better goalkeeper. Yeah, Germany in it. They have a better team. I'm gonna go Germany mainly for home advantage. Who's got a, who's got the best player from each team? Spain, Rodri. Spain's Rodri, and then who's Germany's? You'd even say, would you say Musiala? Would you say Verts? We've got Sane. Verts. Verts probably yeah. I mean, I prefer Musiala, but yeah, I can definitely see people saying Verts. Portugal, Netherlands. I'm thinking Netherlands. Let's go team for team again. Who's got a better attack? Probably equal. Yeah, I mean, you have got. If you're looking at big players, Van Dyke, White Weghorst, yeah, you know the big the big guns in the Netherlands, mm-hmm. Portugal. Do you think Ronaldo will play in this in this tournament? I think he will. I think he will as well. Thing is, Portugal also got Pepe and um, Cancelo. Yeah, and uh, Rafael Guerrero. Yeah, some good fullbacks. Um, Bernardo Silva, obviously. Yeah. Portugal. The problem with the problem with Bernardo Silva and a lot of the Man City plays is they don't play as well at international level as yeah. they do. It's because their it's club. the system of Man City. Completely agree. So Bernardo Silva, even though you could argue he's the best player, on I think that he'll team, pop off. The, I think he'll pop off in the Euros though. Bruno Fernandes as well. Does he start? Yes. But in, not in camp. Yes. Really? Yes. He, Bruno Fernandes. 
as far as playing for Portugal and what he does for Portugal, he's he's one of their better players. But a lot of their players don't perform as well for Portugal. It's a similar story to England, where a lot of players go off to England and don't play as well. Like Harry Kane for England, even though even though he scored a lot of goals for England, yeah, he's not as good for England as he has been for like Spurs and Bayern this season. So I'm I'm gonna say. Netherlands. I'm thinking Netherlands. Frimpong as well. Yeah, Frimpong. Okay, Croatia, France, France. England, Italy. Okay, this will be. This is like we on paper we should beat them. Like in a, in a quarter final game with less pressure on than the finals, I feel like we do wipe this Italy team to the side. Is this bias though? It, Even well if be. no bias, I still think it would be Italy. The only reason we won't beat Italy is because of our manager. But on paper, they haven't, yeah, they haven't got right. Mancini anymore either. By the way. The only reason we wouldn't beat them is because of how we set out against them. 100% agree. And I think this time we will go more attacking for them. Yeah, we have to. So, I think... England. I think, yeah, I do. I do okay. genuinely think in my heart. I was going to say, yeah, if this is the semi-finals... Oh, no. If this is the semi-finals, what, what a Euro is this will be? Germany, Netherlands and France, England. <laughs> um, I've got to back Germany, man. Yeah. I against, think... the, against the Netherlands. Netherlands is a great team, but I can't see them getting to the final of the Euros. Ge- I think Germany are at home as well. I think that could be anyone, you know. I think any team could win. The fact that Germany are at home to me is the big advantage here. But they are also serial bottle jobs recently. But we also have to think the fact that Germany, as historically, like they are winners. You're right. Even though they haven't been in recent history. I'm going to say Germany. I'm thinking Germany. They have won the last, like... Was it the three World Cups ago? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. They've won. Yeah, they've won the World Cup recently. Yeah, they've obviously got a lot of World Cups to their name. France, France England. I feel like France. <laughs> Do you remember them in the World Cup against Argentina? Yeah, Mbappe scored hat trick, man. Two pens. That's True. a that's a Cole Palmer hat trick. That that third goal though. Was it the second goal? It's the it was the third goal. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> or was it? Who would be goal? the wingers for France? Dembele and Dembele and uh, Mbappe. Bro, whose midfield do you think is better? Probably England. Yeah. What? what? Why are we debating that? England. I was thinking of who? Camavinga, Tuchemeni. Oh yeah. But we got Declan Rice, Bellingham, Foden. Foden, I'd want Foden and Cam, would you? Or Maynard. <laughs> Cobby, young Cobby Maynard. I think Cobby Maynard will start. <laughs> really? Yeah, I think I think I'll sit Foden on the left. We have to go theoretically here. England. I'm back in England, man. England Germany final. That's that's kind of historic. That is historic, and it's in Germany. And it's Germany. And I think Germany will win it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think Germany will win it. So, so our, our winners of... To be honest, yeah, I think that Germany do have a great chance of winning. Obviously, this... We say this, and the, the, I think Germany... I think this is how much of an unknown they are because of how they performed in the past tournaments. Yeah. I think they have just as good of chance of winning it as they do of going out in the groups. Like they, <laughs> They'll either go out in the groups or they'll win the whole thing. Yeah, I agree. I completely agree. I'm happy. I'm happy with Germany winning. Obviously, we want England, but <laughs> he's happy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, is that it? Apparently, they have a twelve percent. That's, 12% that's of... what people voted. So twenty five percent of twenty five percent of the people who have done this, what we've just done, think France are going to win. Twenty three percent think England are going to win. That's probably a lot of English bias, judging by the website. Yeah. Twelve percent think Germany are going to win. So Germany are third favourites heading into this tournament. Yeah. Which mainly will be home home advantage, I would imagine. Yeah. So drop in the comments who you think is going to win the Euros. What, what do you think about our predictions as well? I know the ball knowledge has been a bit off, but I think we've done pretty well. Does, two, does Dusan Tadic still play for Serbia? Comment below, let us know. <laughs> Subscribe, like, more videos on the way. Peace out, guys. Up in the bright, <laughs> catch my bite, catch my, catch my, like before my feet, 14, 22, when I get the bread, I don't divide, I multiply, when I'm not, I get the self revive. with my God, I'm so alive, I let my G.O.D. do the driving, he tell me to max.